Hello everyone, Justin here, and today I'm going to be painting this Thermo Flask water bottle for my nephew Zach, short for Zachary, as a present. So what I'm doing here is I'm blocking off the letters. This is a stylized font that I kind of just make up, overlapping in certain areas, kind of make it uh, spontaneous looking. And I'm just using a lighter blue color against the dark blue color of the water bottle itself. So take your time here. You can go over it as needed to finalize the shapes of the letters. And once you're done with that, what I end up doing here is um, just make sure that they're, it's fairly even as far as the coverage of the paint. And then I go ahead and outline it as I always do with a medium tip black marker and you can uh, deal with the overlapping letters in any number of ways one is to for example totally outline the z and then outline the a so that it looks like the a the left leg is behind the z or you can do what i did here where i don't completely finish the outline of the z but it's an interrupted line so you can also make this kind of three-dimensional by adding a shadow, make it a little bit thicker on the, say, the lower right side of these outlines. Uh, just experiment, do whatever you want. It's not as obvious in this particular situation with the black outline just because the dark blue of the bottle is quite dark, so it doesn't stand out as well. And then to finish off his name, I just go ahead and add some simple white highlights all in the upper left parts of the letters and going on to the other part of the de the design the design on the back I am drawing a sketchy drawing of a human heart uh, this is an anatomical heart uh, as it would actually sh look like not perfectly realistic but definitely representative of a anatomical heart and the reason of course as I mentioned he's studying to be a cardiologist the study of hearts and I'm keeping this up in a very loose, sketchy style. And the second part, the lower part of this design, I'm showing an EKG, which is an electrocardiogram, which is a graphic representation of the, the heart beat. And it starts out as a lethal, deadly rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. And in the middle part here, it converts or changes to a normal sinus rhythm, which is the normal rhythm which would be compatible with life. So I'm basically showing how it goes from a deadly rhythm and the person gets saved and has a, goes back to a normal rhythm. So the only thing I needed to do here was to spray several coats of Krylon crystal clear top coat, which helps to keep it um, looking good and it's fairly durable. And that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.